By the end of this video, you'll know how to use a Google Doc as a template to replace certain text within that template and generate new docs in bulk. So we're gonna be using the replace text uh, function within the app script and Google Docs. Something like this where you'll have a sheet with some fields uh, that you want to update within a Google Doc template. I've put some, some real contracts that I'm closing with real people here uh, to just show an example. Um, and I, I drafted a, an MSA that has these fields in colored just for demonstration purposes. Uh, and all of these fields will be updated once we run the automation. So I have a generate contract function. I'm going to command R to run it. When we come back here, you'll see the documents have been created and the fields have been updated to reflect the changes that we've made. So pretty fun project. Uh, let's get into how to build it. So you may have noticed at the beginning that this project requires some construction of documents and uh, starting points. So I've generated this uh, MSA example contract and I've put uh, fields that we're gonna replace throughout. Now this could be any document that you use on a regular basis and uh, this could hopefully help eliminate some of those repetitive tasks, such as generating contracts, which is a use case that I've used this project for. I also have a Google Sheet with some fields that I'm going to replace in bulk. So I have two examples here, but you can imagine uh, building it out much further. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to extensions and open up App Script, and I'm gonna name my project Google Doc Automation. I'm also going to rename this function, generate contract. And first things first, I'm gonna use the template that I just showed you. And you would replace this with uh, the ID of the template, the Google Doc that you're using as the template. So you would do drive app dot get file by ID. And now we go back over to the template and grab this unique ID and put it within a uh, string there within quotes. And then I want to get the destination folder, which is where we're going to put the newly generated doc. Uh, so get folder by ID. And I'm just going to grab the folder ID from here to put it in where my project is currently living. And later on, I'm gonna show you a helpful way of, of kind of rethinking that process. So then we're gonna get the sheet, get active spreadsheet, uh, get sheet by name, because this will be helpful if you end up having a master sheet full of automation from the videos that you've watched and subscribe to on my channel. So I'm gonna go back over here and rename it sheet one, contract generator. I'm also gonna do some, some things that you've seen me do before, hopefully if you've watched my videos, but if not, this is a helpful uh, get last column uh, variable for getting only these columns so it'll it'll look for uh, where the last text is and grab that ID and just to show you what I mean we'll log it out and we'll also make sure that things are working to up to this point I'm gonna review permissions even though it says untitled project which I don't know why it does that even though I renamed it and so nine is the last column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So now that we have that, I'm also going to get the rows. I'm going to name it rows. 
Um, but I'm going to get data range dot get values. So that gets all the, the active data and I'm going to run a for each of those rows, a new function that calls each row and each row's index. Let's say let client equal row zero, which should be this first row. And then I'll log that out to show what is returned. So it's put in client name, uh, which is the column heading in A1. So I don't want the first row to be returned. So in this case, I'm going to say if index equals zero, simply return. And then it will, uh, it should give me just the company names that I want to generate in the contract and it does. Awesome. Uh, we're also going to let state equal row one. And so I'm just, just going to go through real quick. I'll fast forward this, but each of these data points, I'm going to name and put into a variable. So Okay. So now I have all of those variables. Um, let's just log one out to make sure that it's bringing the correct item okay so that's working uh, this is actually a good time to bring up something that I came across in this project because you'll notice that the currency the the, the rate uh, the monthly rate that we're looking at has a decimal and doesn't have a dollar sign or a comma which is pretty standard practice in contracts so I'm using the international.number format um, for the currency style and this will be helpful with con uh, the integers removed because that's also something that I came across and I'll show you how that works here so let's logger.log still the intl.number format you put in the locales which is en us and the style is currency. The currency is USD. The minimum fraction digits is zero, and the maximum fraction digits is also zero. I'm gonna put a closing curly bracket there, and then I'll do dot format rate and then I have to do another closing so let's see how how those numbers are now returned boom that is the format we want for our contract or for our document um, hopefully that's a helpful tool for you in your toolbox so now we're gonna make a copy of the template so I'm gonna instantiate that as an, a variable actually I'm gonna get this a little bit more centered contract template which is what we named this file that we uh, referenced as the template uh, we're gonna make a copy and we're gonna add a custom name so it, it that's what it's asking for in the function docs so I'm gonna name it automaway I'm gonna inject the client uh, which is what we just saved from row zero and you'll see that text is darkened, which means it's being used. If it's grayed out, that means that it's not in use yet. Um, consulting contract. And then I'm also going to add the date. And this is another opportunity to show you something that I use all the time is utilities.format date. And I'm just going to take the new. Um, start date I'm gonna create a new date for that I'm gonna use the GMT time zone 
that's uh, Greenwich Mean Time, and I'm going to format it such as the month dot day dot full year, and that obviously you can name the contract whatever makes sense or the document whatever makes sense for you. I just wanted to show that you can inject custom uh, text into the title as well as the document. And I'm going to provide the destination folder, which is what we saved again up here. So now I'm going to reference the doc um, using the document app dot open by ID. I'm going to take the copy and get the ID. I'm going to create a body reference, which is the doc dot get body. And this is where we'll be able to uh, call that body to inject our, or replace the text. Um, so basically it's a bulk find and replace that we're writing here. I'm also going to create a friendly start date. Uh, I'm just calling it that for fun, but utilities dot format date again, new date start GMT. And then I'm going to, instead of like the number of the date, I'm going to spell it out. So like January would be spelled out instead of one, um, the date and the full year. So that'll be helpful within the contract. And now the fun part begins where we actually call that body, replace text. I like to uh, put the string, I think double quotes or single quotes will work, but I like the back ticks there. Um, and then for the start date, I just created the friendly start date. I'm gonna use that body.replace text again. And there's gonna be many of these because you saw the contract has many fields we wanna update. Copy that in. Copy the total in. And add a date. not the start date, but today's date, the date that I uh, created the contract. Okay, with that done, um, I'm going to use the doc to save and close. I'm going to uh, const URL equals doc.get URL. And then I'm going to uh, use the sheet get range index plus one for the row and last call plus one a set value to the URL. And so that'll uh, just add a link to the, the document that we just created. So now that we have that command R to run. We'll come back over and we'll check out the new version. So as you can see, the, the uh, title has been updated with the date that the contract begins. Uh, there's probably a better way to, to format this. So like that maybe could be interesting uh, project for you to work on. And the date or the uh, currency values are formatted as intended. And yeah, pretty awesome use of automation here. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, please give me some feedback in the comment section below. Give this video a like, a thumbs up if it helped you. And feel free to ask for future content to be created. Um, any ideas there, happy to help. And thank you for your interest in automating your repetitive tasks.